Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. Today I'm going to discuss the FLIR One camera integration with Magic Plan. I'm on site today at our new office that's currently under construction, and we're gonna take some photos of a heater that's not turned on and a heater that is turned on to demonstrate how the FLIR One camera picks up differences in temperature. So you might ask, what is a FLIR One camera? It's this handy dandy device that works with both iOS and Android, and it can be used to detect not only extreme heat, but also extreme cold. So in the case of water damage, if you're looking for water damage that's behind the wall, you can detect areas of cold, and this will be a good way to identify those areas. So I'm going to create a photo annotation on this project that we've already created, and I'm going to plug this camera in, and I'm going to demonstrate how it works for you in an everyday use case. So the first thing you want to do is turn the camera on, make sure that the camera is facing outward from where you're plugging it in. It takes a couple seconds to boot up. While that's booting up, I'll go ahead and plug it in, and I'll navigate into the floor plan here. And I'm gonna to go to the room that we're currently standing in. I'll go to add object, I'll select the photo annotation, and I'll move it to approximately where we're currently standing and change the direction so it's facing the same way we currently are. Now the important thing to know about the FLIR One camera integration is that this is accessible from anywhere that we have photos and notes. So from the floor level, the project level, the room level, the object level, so this annotation for instance. All you have to do is select details, go to photos and notes, and select the camera icon. Now once you do that, I'll go ahead and take a photo of this heater that's not turned on. Let's go ahead and add a couple more photos. So this one that is turned on. And now I'm gonna select this FLIR icon in the top left. And as you can tell, this heater is definitely not turned on. But as soon as I rotate over to this one, you can see a very strong contrast between this heater and the surrounding area. That indicates to me that this heater is currently turned on. So once I've selected all my photos, I add them to that annotation, I select done. And now you have both normal and FLIR One camera photos that you can use in your exports, however you're using Magic Plan, to help you easily identify water damage, areas of extreme heat, et cetera. We're really excited to see how you're using this. We'd love to see some examples of projects and photos that you've taken on site in real world scenarios. Reach out to us. We'd love to see what you're doing. Until then, have a great day.